So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's tasty little video where we're going to be talking about the new football game diddly diddly diddly, uh, that came out in the PS Store on Thursday out of the blue, literally out of the blue and uh, everyone's gone bonkers about it simple as that i've been on social media even though i was at universal yesterday universal studios don't go in june i'm telling that right now folks ridiculously packed uh, but the velociraptor ride the roller coaster is phenomenal a a unbelievable ride uh, but i was still in the you know still in the line still in the queue having a look at social media seeing what was going on everyone's going mental about this game um and, and I'm honestly going to give you my thoughts about it all right now. Okay, so stay tuned because we're going to get in juicy details as to what I think about this. So the first things first, and we'll get to some gameplay and all that in a second. It does state that this is purely for online stability test, testing the infrastructure and all that. Okay, it does state that. I mean, right there. It doesn't say anything else. Don't. It says do not take any of the gameplay or the graphics into account because this is not final. And I hope it isn't. I mean, we're all are. This is not this is not next gen quality here at all. So I can totally understand what they're saying. So I'm not going to be doing a review. I'm not going to be doing any of that. But I will touch upon points that I like during this video. Now the first thing is it's called New Football Game on the store, and for me that's rather interesting. Why have they not named this like PES 2022? You know, online beta. Obviously, they don't want to give people the impression that this is PES 2022. I'm also thinking that they maybe might be renaming this game. You know, we've had Pe Pro Evolution Soccer, and then we had eFootball Pro Evolution or PES. You know, ha what's going to happen here? Are they going to change it? Think about it. Why would you name this new football game? Are they going to get away with the PES and go in another direction and try and bring in a different crowd? I don't know. We'll find out if they announce any announcements, and we'll talk about that as well. Uh, but let's just get into the actual footage of um you know uh, uh, the menus and all that so if we have a look at the menus of what's going on here and yeah i've recorded this pre and i'm going to stop and play during the video so these are the menus and honestly if we go through the menus i quite like them they're, they're simple you know there's nothing crazy here but there was the ball that you can use the nfg i don't know what kind of ball that is and you've got your match screen options there um, and then you click next and now this is this I do like this I will say I was I was not expecting you know with Konami no offense to them um, but they're not the best when it comes to sort of the UI uh, graphical elements presentation and all that but I do like this I think this works quite well just for changing kits you know they're actually in the dressing room there's the kits themselves and you can change between home and away tells your opponents ready uh, so yeah, these are nice additions. I like this. Okay, I was I was at the beginning of the, this playing this and then you go through to this screen and you've got all the players warming up. It's very much got like a Pez 13 type vibe. Then you can kind of hear them in the ear hole as well talking some nonsense, tells you the lineup and uh, I like the beginning of it. You know, I will say if this is what they're going to be incorporating and, and right there, if we kind of go back actually to the crowd, I mean, this is where you can tell that this is not you know next gen quality is it i mean we've seen what fifa can do on the ple on the ps5 we've seen the graphics and the crowd and this looks like you know honestly a playstation 3 game if i'm being fair so that's why i'm not taking any of the graphics and that into account here and i'm not going to slag them off because there's nothing final about it at all so let me move into the game plan now Okay, I'm once again, I'm liking the fact that they've gone for a more dark approach. I think now with the dark tone that we all love, that's come into play now. No one likes to see white screens because it hurts your eyes. So you want a more dark tone. It is a little bit crowded, I will say, with with the players and the names. You know, there's a little bit too much going on, especially when you've got, you know, Aretha Balaga for Chelsea in goal. It's going to be a whopper. So, yeah, maybe they can refine that a little bit. There isn't a whole lot you can do with tactics here. I think they've just got rid of a lot of the tactics for the time being. Uh, I was Juventus. My, most of my team was down. So that didn't help. Uh, but, yeah, you can't really do a whole lot for the most part in the game plan because a lot of the features aren't there. So all they think they had was long pass, and you can even change the tactics when you go over to them. Uh, but for the most part, as I say, for the game plan looks decent. I'll take this over what we have now, even though it's very, very, very similar. 
but it's a game plan. How much are you going to change at the end of the day? So you were going to let this run through and, and see. There we go. Right. Okay. So we had team style possession game. That's all I could do. I couldn't change anything. Um, you play around the lads. You can still move positions. I was still trying to get, you know, familiarized with the controls. And I think this is also what people need to remember. This is going to be a brand new engine. Remember PES 14 when it came out? There were new controls to learn. There was new this to learn, new that to learn. No one liked it. And we are not going to like change, but the facts are we're going to have to get used to them. Now, there are things in this in this build that is a little bit concerning because I'm talking like control wise. First thing you'll notice off the bat is the tempo of the game is ridiculously slow. They've slowed it down a lot. Now, by the way, we're going to talk about the levels, OK, because there's they've changed the pass support slightly here. What's happened with that guy? No idea. We've got level one, two, three, and four. But four now is actually manual, and level one is pass assist three. And by default, everyone is playing on pass assist three. Mm, not a fan of that. I would still like there to be a completely separate manual online mode compared to assisted, because I would play that all day as he tries to take a shot there and completely embarrasses himself. So yeah, level 1 is pass assist 3, level 4 is manual. We are playing on level 4. I will show you this, I think, at some point during this game. You can tell because we've got the red bar now. It's no longer, what is it, orangey before? It's kind of reddish now. Look at this skill. Oh, filthy from Dybala. Uh, tried a double touch here, but he, he made the challenge. So yeah, it's a very much a slower paced game. You know, graphics, as I say, and all that, let's not even be concerned with it because they don't look good at all. Yes, it kind of looks like they've sort of... They've literally just ported over sort of PES 21 and they've put it into the Unreal Engine. Is kind of what I'm seeing here. But there are, there are positives and I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to slag off this game. Because as I keep stating, we're, no, we're nowhere near to knowing what's going on. As you can see on the ad board right there, it does say announcements coming on July 21st. So that is when we're going to have a look... Uh, as we hit the bar there, unbelievable. Uh, I couldn't score in this game. It was a the goalies are still ridiculous from what I could see on this. Uh, but yeah, July 21st, we're going to know more details, folks. So stay tuned for that. We're going to cover it all uh, when they talk about it and discuss whatever they're going to discuss. So yeah, there's a goalie making some saves. So, uh, because yeah, if you kind of look here, like, I will say the textures of like the kits and stuff actually look really nice. But it's, it's like the players themselves, the crowd, the textures of like the turf and it's very pixelated uh, and it's just not great. I don't know what happened here. Let's see if we can fast forward this. Okay, okay, so here we go. We're going to go to the pause menu right now. Let's, uh, let's move forward. All right, I'm going to show you guys. So this is what I have as the controls. We're playing on semi-assisted, right? So we are on level four. And as you can see, it states auto assist is turned off. Passes are controlled using the left stick and the power gauge only. Uh, and then if we move up to three, it says auto assist with power... power uh, that's not English. Auto assist with pass power and accuracy. Adjust pass power and accuracy using the left and the pass button. Uh, and then you've got level two. I, I'm not even going to read it because that's even more assisted. And then you've got level one, which is fully assisted. And that is pretty much what everyone is on by default. Now, I will say this much. Manual, for the most part, I'm also playing on manual shooting. It seems very uh, much harder, or more difficult would be easier, wouldn't it? Than what we are getting right now on PES 21. Uh, I, you know, I played some manual and, it, and, I, and, it, and I got that PES 14 vibe on manual where you got to put a little bit more accuracy on it. I was doing a little bit of the old dribbling here and giving you a bit of a bash as uh, the old scan likely sod off. Uh, had a shot from distance, didn't quite do anything. So, yeah, I think manual, if they stick to this kind of way of passing, is going to be quite difficult to learn. No problems with that. We'll learn it as Ronaldo does the old cut inside with the old uh, strickety dickety uh, trickery. Oh, look, I did get a penalty in a minute, by the way. There is a penalty in this game. Yeah, we did get a penalty on the first match online. And actually, the matches that I played, this guy that I was playing against was having a bit of a hard time of it. I mean, I'm used to manual to a, to a point. He, I don't think he was. I don't know if he's playing on complete manual. But anyway, what was I saying? I don't know. I've forgotten. But anyway, we'll learn manual. And yeah, we'll, we'll definitely it's going to be harder, I think, going to PES 2022 uh, from PES 21 and playing on, on, on FUMA. 
because it looks like it's been dumbed down a lot. Now, there is a shield button. Let's talk about things that I do like. Uh, the added elements of, like, a physical button, a shielding button is there as well. It's another good save. The goalies were just were just really good. Um, you know, the dribbling seemed decent, a little bit more freedom. You can kind of, you know... 360 dribbling was kind of there it was you know there was little increments you can see here we're just kind of skipping around players willy-nilly taking your time you know and as i say oh, there we go there it is we got a penalty referee does give a penalty and as you can see from the cut scenes you know it's kind of it does look like pez 14 and this is why there's no way there's no way that these are going to be the full graphics when the game comes out. It just, it, it's not, it's not possible. You know, players' feet are going through the turf. I've seen some crazy, ridiculous things going on. I would hope that this build, and this was not a great, I think he knew where I was going. Yeah, missed it. Pathetic. Ricky, not a good penalty. So, I just think that these graphics are there for, for the time being. And if this is an early build, then it's a build from like last year at some point. And they've obviously been refining, enhancing it and polishing it up a lot more. I mean, the crowd looks pretty bad. There was a chance. Couldn't win the header. Don't know what he was doing. I was all over this guy. I just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. So, yeah, it, let's not get carried away here. Because if this was the game that was going to be released with these, these graphics, crowd, everything, we wouldn't buy it. We just wouldn't. You'd say, no, what is this? This isn't next gen. No, no way. So that's why I'm not getting completely carried away. Now, I will talk about a few things that I'm not liking the look of. The first thing is there is no... You, well, you can't change player with a right stick. I don't really know why they got rid of that. I don't use it a ton, but I still like to flick between players when I'm kind of defending. I don't always use L1. That's the first thing that needs to come back. The second one is teammate press. This is probably even more important. I don't know why they've got rid of that. I mean, Pez has always been about being able to control the defense. And yeah, you used to be able to like double touch or double press it. And then I think you had like two players close down on the ball. Okay, maybe you don't need that extreme. But I don't know why if, they, if they've got rid of it for just this build, then okay. But why on earth you would get rid of a perfectly good working... Renato, what are you doing there, mate? Yeah? Uh, a perfectly good working, you know, functionality of the game that they got rid of. So that needs to come back. Absolutely 100%. I always love to close down with the second defender. And it's just not an option. Which it's, it's madness. All that happens... Look, now I, I can't actually pull my players forward. I kept pressing square. Wanting my players to come inside and get the ball. Look at that for a finish. That's a whopper. And all that happened was the player kept tackling. Because that's what the button was. It was just tackle. So we just went... Uh, uh, and I was like, stop doing that. But obviously it's something we're going to have to adjust to. If they decide to not have this, I, I'm going to be very disappointed, and a lot of us are. Okay, so Konami, for the, for the love of the game, you have to bring back second man press, the ability to change players with the right stick, and I think there was one more, and I can't even remember exactly what it was. Um, but yeah, th those are the, there are a few things in the controls. I don't know why they've changed them, but they have decided to do so. It is a lot tougher to fend, I will say that much. I don't know what I was doing there. Absolute moron, and then he missed. So, I think this guy was also playing on manual shooting, and this is what you get, though. There's a lot of freedom. There's a lot of random stuff happening, a lot of misplaced passes. It's all over the place, but, you know, they are going for a very, very sim-like approach, I will say that much, compared to what FIFA are, which I like. Um, but there are a lo there's a lot of work to be done here on this build, but you know, I keep saying that I'm not taking anything too seriously here because... They haven't actually announced anything for PES 2022. We don't even know if this is PES 2022 because all it says is new football game. And as I say, that they may be renaming it. I like that in the old ear hole there. They talk about their... There's a certain amount of time left in the game. Brilliant. Here we go. Here we go. Rubbish. Terrible. Took too long there. Um, so, yeah. this Obviously, this is PES 2022 getting you know to the point of what it's going to be at some point. But the fact that it's called new football game... It baffles me. It baffles me. Why Why have we gone that route? Are they trying to maybe trick people into thinking this is a totally different game? You know? Maybe. Maybe. Won't be the worst thing to do in the world. And so, yeah, we made some changes here. We just sort of dive into the second half. But, you know, you let me know what you feel um, like the positive. I, I don't want to I don't want to hear the negatives on this, okay? If you've got something positive to say, then leave it. There's no point 
getting all huffy duffy luffy about this game and saying oh this is bad the graphics are terrible it's so slow they turn like a tank diddle 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 yes we know this we played the game but it does state as i keep stating that this is purely to test the stability so let me know though like things you like what have you liked that they've added to the game i mean i like the, the, the ui i think they've done a better job if they do use that um, and there are things you know when it comes to the actual gameplay that i think will work better i think collisions eventually when they're sorted out properly i mean there's a collision here with luke shaw it looks a little bit ridiculous but it's not polished is it it's not in fact i saw one video where there was <laughs> i think there was like seven players all lying flat on the on the turf like they were literally just flat and they were just it was a huge glitch that mm, clearly there are problems and it's just a really 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 unpolished product right now um, but that's all for today folks that's really all i have to say i can't sit here and harp on about anything else because there's no point i will wait till july 21st as it states right there an announcement is coming i don't know what that means it means that there's an announcement i don't know what announcement it will be um, i mean it doesn't say like trailer or anything it just says there's an announcement so we'll know more we don't even know when pez 2022 is going to come out we don't know if it's going to be named pez 2022 it could be coming out this year in november december we don't know how long we, we really don't know any information so i will say i enjoyed elements of this game as i state but there are things like the, the second press changing of the players with the, with the right stick you know getting rid of some of these buttons i don't know why they did it we didn't complain about them and if we're not going to complain about them, then don't get rid of them. You know, that's just common sense. But anyway, you let me know below. We'll be back shortly. I will get back to Master League. I mean, even there, like that little animation of the goalie. We'll go to it real quick. You know, the goalie running up to the ball. Here he is, ready? It looks a little bit different. You know, those little subtle animations, I'm sure we're going to see plenty of once the uh, proper announcements are out and about. But anyway, we'll be back with Master League. I know I've been slacking on it. I need to get back to it, but a lot's been going on recently. Let me know your thoughts below. But keep it positive. Yeah? Positivity is, is the way to go here. Let's not get all negative because we've got a lot of time to spare. And this guy looking bad as finishing as I was. Poor blimey. All right, until next time, take care.